My name is Daniel Graveson and I've created the Gaff tool and I'm here at TechEd and one of the things I can actually see is that a lot of customers are asking how do we actually monitor the CPI system and we have really a good solution for you that you don't need to do anything with. So it's the FIGAF tool and what it will give you is three things to make monitoring easier. So we have a job that in this app you would connect it to point to your CPI, uh, CPI system. It will then continuously be able to monitor these different things. One thing that we monitor is the system performance and with this it will actually monitor CPU usage on the system uh, latency and stuff like that to get a, an understanding about how well it is performing and if you need to do anything with it. You can then we have a support tool and the support tool enables us to set up rules so we have in this rule, uh, we can set up a rule that says, hey, if we have a failed message, we want to do something. If we have messages that are not failing, but we want to log for a specific reason, we can also add an OData filter that would find all of these specific messages. And lately, we have also uh, an option that allow you to set up alerts on the CPU or latency specific event. So if, if latency is above two, two seconds, then you would get a notification. Uh, and the way all of this work is, or at least all the messages work, is that it will go onto the system, download these every five minutes, and you will then get all this information. So you would get about what is the alert, you will get a description if you put that in. Um, and then you'll get error message about what was what's happening. For some messages, you'd be able to, to download alerts and see what was really there. What we then have to make it easy, because this is obviously here, you're just getting the alert. What you want to do is you want to action on my book. So if you're getting this alert multiple times, you actually want the developer to, to get informed. And so you just say create alert. It will then take this, uh, this endpoint that we have and you can give it a title. We put them in number order. So it's just that. Have um, some specific ones you can put them at the top, or if you have like more global generic ones, you could put them at 500, and then there's a default one at uh, 900. Uh, but this is just a numbering way that we will find. So it will just find the first rule that match this alert, and then you have the option you can set up alerts. What the, the, this is about. We have do with this alert um do we want to process it anymore or anything like that we have a way we can set up criticality so at least you know how critical it is we can mute so we don't want if it's the same 2000 messages we don't want to flood uh, with that many alerts um we can specify if we want to alert to the messages and then we can insert uh, a message and in this message, we could write it like we have here. We can use the groovy expressions uh, XPath. We can send it to our uh, email. And we also have the option to set up uh, specific URLs um, that will then process this message. And once it receives it, it will uh, hear whatever ticket system you have. Um, so that really simplifies the process. Uh, you have the option to test and everything like that and in this and just able to get this to to develop you don't need to go and create actionable items you just look into this tool uh, set up these rules and then you got your dashboard here you can say okay i have figured out how to solve this i have run this and then you as a developer would easily be able to understand what are all our new tasks and how do we handle this um and the same thing if it's not failed if it's just messages that is being downloaded um, if it is these type of alerts about CPU usage or anything like that, it's the same process. You can set up trigger messages, what it should do if CPU is above 80-90%. Another thing that I've found is really nice is our monitoring dashboard. And our concept about this is we want to make it 
easy for you to set up specific monitors for different users. So users would log into the VKAF tool. You can then go into edit mode. And in our edit mode, we can then configure the specific filter. We can see it is creating different metadata for these users. Um, we can say how long this default, it should be looking at data. Um, if you want to specify search for specific sender receiver or information and what are the iFlows that we want to check in this uh, processing. Um, so that makes it really simple to set up these uh, alerts and assign it so an HR guy would only be able to see HR interfaces um, and he would not be able to see finance and the opposite. And you can give it information that he should be able to see attachments or not. Um, and then as a developer, you can drill into to more details on this. This was not the best. So for instance, if we have this one. So one of the things we have here is we've tried to make it simple for you to actually do operational data on the CPI. Normally in CPI, you have only to select all, all failed or a specific iFlow. And that makes it really difficult because these iFlows is often triggered in a flow or sequence. And what we have done here is we enable you to search for an iFlow. You can find it here. See with re header receiver information, you can search for these. Um, scroll down and search for the one with, with lock or extend filter. And if there is already a filter on, you can only drill into those specific ones. So you cannot see all the iFlows, but only the ones that have been assigned that you have access to. So that really speeds up the development process and makes it monitoring that you don't need to create custom monitoring for for, for figure. We have solutions that start at 150 euros a month uh, to use this monitor, figure out what's happening on your CPI system, and based on that, set up uh, actionable items uh, for it. And obviously, if you want to do more, we also have a full DevOps uh, change management uh, transport system as also a part of this. So how do you get it? Go to figaf.com forward slash IRT.